All right, run the numbers, check the math. We are right back at it for some more permadeath today. I'm feeling good. Uh, I made it to level two on our last one, but I, I killed a rogue with Demon's Glee and, uh, and a set. I just, I couldn't capitalize. I died while looting his body to a, a naked ranger who then stepped on spike traps and died. And then a barbarian tried to loot the Demon's Glee and got killed by the Goblin Shaman here at HR. It, the, HR is so much fun right now because all the new players are there. It's just a mix of the old guard kitted out and the, the Timmy is just running around W King. It, it is a blast. And that is why we are playing high roller only in this permadeath. The end of wipe event. This is going to be a world record setting speed run times. What's is this another glee? Imagine. Oh, it's cobalt boots. I, ca I cannot believe I killed a demon's glee rogue 100 0 with all of his movement speed as a naked fighter with a battle axe. That guy was not wearing headphones. He had his bandage out and I, I three tapped him. What a legend. Permadeath gang, we love deleting characters. Maybe, I think I'm gonna start off with a troll fight. Let's do something a little cray cray, a little something different. jumped right there that would have been the end jet says they just killed a ranger who got caught in his own trap a classic happens to the best of us though i mean traps are one shots whether you step in them or whether the ranger steps in them somebody is dead after that the unmistakable sound of it is just an absolute dopamine machine i don't think we're gonna troll anymore now I'm ramping. Uh, we got we got Slayer operational. Okay, Slayer's off. Buckler's in. So many choices. I like that I dropped a longsword and uh, the arming sword, and I thought it was just a random loose loot longsword on the ground. I was like, oh, longsword, that'll be fun. <laughs> That was the three piece. I might be dead from the poison. Oh, still alive. Shaman! Glass glug, no! Ho! Actual 1 HP. This, this is fine. Okay.
This is a catastrophe. I can't even go to spider box to get my health back. That's off limits. I have to go east. What? Yes. A sweet savior. I'm looking for some scraps. Combo never before seen before. Flange plus hand crossbow. <laughs> Look at all his throwing knives. Holy shit. Now we rest. HR is wild right now. That poor guy. Uh, he probably had VoIP on, but I, I don't have VoIP, and we're going to be hostile to everybody, so. Till death do us part. All right, well, Demons, Glee, Rogue, last time, and Cobalt Booty Boy this time. I look like the randomest class ever invented. <laughs> I look like a brand new class. This is the night. The pa the paladin. Three strength, two max health. We like that. Two strength, three armor. Those are pretty much boosted. Two agi. Th oh my god, that guy was actual maxing. Two agi, two strength, max health. Two strength and damage. One agi, three damage. One agi, two damage. One agi, two damage. <laughs> guy would have probably one shot me in the back. <laughs> The Boba Fett build. No. I wish I had just sprinted. I wish I had just done the same thing. Sprint plus adrenaline rush right on top of him. That guy was out of here. 
<laughs> Next lobby. Did you drop bolts? No, I guess I did. I thought I picked them up, but oh well. Oh, I didn't see it. Are those arbits? Or did he have those in his inventory? Those are pretty good. Blue-footed booby. The blue boot bandit. <laughs> Alright, that is level 3. And then I think we're going to change some of this up. I'm going to take off hand crossbow. And I think we're going to get rid of... Get rid of weapon master. Although, then we can't... Uh, all these throwing knives... I don't know, that is a lot of throwing knives. Okay, 17.6, 1.5% move speed. Those are probably actually faster. 96.3, 96.5. Yeah, but the two strength and three armor is bigly. Either way, solid boots all around. See how much money we made. I kind of want to go Slayer with this build, this Agi sort of build that we're stacking right now. Oh, three strength. That guy was so juiced. Jesus. I need an Armet now. A blue flange for a hundred? Thirty-eight damage and max health. Scoop it up. How much gold? Let's see how much money I have. One sec. I sell this. Sell this. And then that puts us in gambling range. Maybe we gamble for a short sword. Trash, unfortunate. Take a soul sell. Two additional magic damage and magic. That's actually great. We'll hold that for level 20. PDB, one additional physical. That's not bad either. Corn. Ooh, purple prop pot. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Slayer or like some sort of mix of Slayer. We don't actually have plate right now. If we take this off. We can run it down. And we just crossbow and push everybody and hope we get a big kill. 38 gold. Let me buy... Uh, let me buy... I can't wear an armet then. We'll be losing a lot of headshot protection. I almost want to swap to lizard. But even 8% headshot protection is better than zero. Buy bolts as well. Thank you, Coach Chat. All 
All right, what do we think here? Quickness or courage? Agility and two additional or one strength and PDR. I feel like these, these rings are pretty nuts. Movement speed's 98%. Dual wield with helmet to level 5. I mean, this is 5 extra weapon damage, though. That's immense. Puts us up at uh, 43. Just off the rip. And then we're going to be swings just fast as hell. Agi, everyone says keep quickness. Okay. Forty-seven as well. Let's go ahead and buy some Francisca's. Man, he was stacked. His gear is so unstatted. Everything here is really good for us. This one we could swap out with any other purple padded. Otherwise, we're pretty much good to go. And then we need a helmet, and we are we're juiced all the way till max. This is what I need right here. How long till refresh? Uh, seven minutes. It'll, I doubt that'll be there. I need this, and then I need these. Maybe. I don't even know if we need to roll for gloves with two and two already. Level three. Level three on the come up. Ah, oh, I wanted to see the flange damage. I use short sword for the attacks. I hold left and right click. It, it gains the armor pen of the mace and it has a unique combo to it. So typically you can get off like five attacks before most two handed can get off their third combo. You could really melt people with Slayer right now. Probably until the stats split. And then I don't know. I think you'd have to. Might not be worth it. I should have bought red pots. That was a mistake. Yeah, not a bad necklace at all. If I didn't have ours, I would definitely take that. It's almost better. 
But I mean, three additional physical is a lot of damage. Like got one true, it's got some health on it. Put me at 137. I don't know. Honestly, if we can build up toward 160 health, it'd be pretty nuts on a Slayer. This feels better than my last fighter, only because we don't have plate. Like, it's nice to be able to move it fast. I knew that I knew we had aggro on that, so at that point I can just pressure him even with the shield up. The monster's eventually gonna hit him. Swap to 40 damage Falcon because I love flanged. Man, those are kind of cracked. Flange has armor pen. And it gives the armor pen to the short sword. So it makes the, the swing pattern really fast and very damaging to anybody, including plate users. See, it's fast. I feel like I can get three attacks off before the Falcon can get, like, you know, one. Or it's second, rather. It's good for comboing, and it's got a nice little reach on it. Especially for vertical spaces like that. Dang, that wind last. So much damage. 60? It's outrageous. That makes me want to take Weapon Master, and if I hit somebody with a wind last, they're pretty much just dead. Even a cleric would have to use all their healing to get back.
Greed is good. That's gotta be level 5. We drift around a lot there. Red Lizard Gang. It's always a come up out here. Level Wow, level 7. Boosted. I wonder what that shaman's worth. I know most sub-bosses are only worth 3, but... That's gotta be worth more, especially if it's a nightmare. Big round. Especially for candy. Now we hit a refresh as well, so let's take a look around. Damn, we have a lot of money. I already have a blue flange that's rolled well. We just need a better short sword. Miss. Goblino does have rings of quickness. And an ox. Mm, that's interesting. Jackie boy. Oh, a crossbow would be so good. I think a crossbow here would be the play if I had the, the funds for it. Um, Let's see. I mean, it's going to be hard-pressed to uh, replace anything that we have. All right. What do we gain before chat? Ox pendant or quickness? Or both. I mean, we have the funds. 225, we can definitely get there. Chat shoes. What happened to all the knives? I uh, I got rid of Weapon Master, so I sold them all. Did I kill Troll? I did not kill Troll yet. Agirine, Quickness, Ox. The, the traders refresh every 30 minutes on the hour. So like 6.30, 7, 7.30, 8. Both? Okay. Let's go for Ox first. Honestly, that's an insane Warlock ring. Or a uh, necklace. It's definitely worth more than we paid for it. 2 Strength, 3 MH. I'm just going to sell some of this random stuff real quick to get up to the 100 for the ring. Ah, uh, that's a miss. That's alright, we didn't need the money though. And we go. We'll gain. There it is, guys. What do we think? That's that's great, right? That's pretty damn good. That's the thumbnail. Now you get to see the small processes of being a streamer. The dungeon police. Open up. Boom. Ah, uh, curse spawn. Let's get out of here. Pray there's no ranger with pestilence pushing the spawn box like I used to. Uh, someone asked if I survived permadeath. I've been it pretty far today. Uh, we've only done three. I think I died once at level one with Demon's Glee. And then I died another time at level 11 to a, a gaggle. An absolute gaggle. Two clerics and a rogue. A little, little mini teaming going down. This looks like something I can kill. Deleted. Slayer. Absolutely annihilated. <laughs> Crumpled. I broke his ankles. Now, now he looked like Lego Time Bomb. The bat. <laughs> Chad said the bat put up more of a fight. Damn. Give him a break. You can't expect that. Oh, that was a nice spell book. Uh, you know what? I want to go in here. Actually. Madness. I kind of want to go kill a skeletal Madness champion and over stupidity. to the left. I'm 
I'll grab this lion's head. Honestly, there's two lion's heads down here. I think there can be four if you're super lucky. What? Attacked my toes. Okay. That's not great. Oh. Well, stealthy boy. Okay. <laughs> That's a new one. The only way to not get hit by the spear skeleton, true. Just tickling his toes a little bit. Uh, I want to go pull champion from. Ooh. I want to go pull champion from Spider Box. Right, I'm, I'm gonna have to drop some of his stuff. That's interesting. Oh, there they are. Death to the Rangers, I suppose.
crumpled. Hit him with the high, yeah. Got a little risky at the end there, not gonna lie. We almost got trapped by all those zombies. I've been trapped there before. If they don't go up the ramp, they just stand at the entrance to the ramp and you're pretty much just dead. You'd have to kill all of them. That's level 10. That feels good. Time for the next perk as well. I'm pretty sure we just go dual wield. Pick up the old dual wieldy. Attacking even faster than we've been attacking. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're level 10. That's our third perk. Oh, I didn't put one on last time. That's normal. All right, so we're at 98%. Let's see what happens when we put Swift on. 99.3. 1.3, is that worth it? Or do we want to get a bit more PDR? That's only 1.2. I mean, honestly, neither of these really do that much. We could go combo attack. Combo attack and then just, just shatter somebody outright. They're just dead. If, if I'm within five feet of them, I'm pretty sure anyone's just dead here. Crack, thank you for the gifted sub and red shadow. Thank you for the T1 as well. Sorry, I missed it mid-match. Thank you all very much. Currently, we're relaxing out here. Been live for about three hours with 520 viewers. <laughs> that actually might be a new record for us. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. I hope you guys are having a great start to your work week. That was a juice around. Now, I would like to have taken his purple book out and his blue boots because they were really good for his class specifically, uh, especially the riveted as well that had two strength, two will. But uh, the thing is, bringing treasure out is going to give me money since I can't actually trade on the way up to 20. And it's also worth XP to bring treasure out, so. Oh, I forgot Madness. to drink my luck potion. Madness and stupidity. Right, I'm actually bad at the game. <laughs> I'm surprised sometimes the things that we're able to do. All right, sell those off. Let's go down and buy some bolts. We already gambled everything that we could, and I don't think we have enough yet for Jack. 24. We do have enough for Jack. All right, let's go see. What's Jackie boy got for us? Do we want the crossy? Ours isn't bad. This would have to roll well, but it could roll weapon damage. Two agility, two strength. We could also go for heavy leathers. Give us quite a bit more armor. But ours is statted. Ours is pretty much a max roll. Go for the Falcon. Nah, I don't, I don't want Falcon. I'm going to be using Flanged. We ran into a lot of clerics today um, and a lot of PDR fighters, and this is going to punch right through it. Roll Crossy. I, I almost want to roll nothing and wait for a padded 
How long till refresh? 10 minutes. Uh, actually, a leather cap is going to be best in slot for us. I think we wait for a leather cap. Yeah, I'm going to wait chat. I would like the crossy, but ours is rolled pretty decent. And candy corn is one of the most limited resources we'll ever have. Oh, two strength, 1% move speed. Wait, two strength, 1% move speed. I think that's better than ours. Yeah, we actually gained 0.7% move speed off that. And then a, a quite a bit more health. I don't know what strength translates to exactly for damage, but two has to outplay that plus three physical. Only in the sense that uh, we'll also get health off of it. Just put all the rings away for now. We have plenty of money. Uh, I forgot to drink the luck potion. We'll try to remember to drink that right on the way in. Otherwise, we are, as far as I know, ready to drop. Buy a couple more axes as well. Keep ourselves alive and stable. Uh, now that we're a little bit higher level, guys, I'm going to go to the Be Right Back screen. And then I'll choose a random queue and a place to drop. Chat says gold bag. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Yes, gold bag is a good play. If anything, I kind of feel like we can do two gold bags. Chat says five strength is two weapon damage. Isn't two weapon damage better than additional physical damage? Though? I don't know. We don't have to get into it. The numbers, the numbers go pretty hard. Get mathematical. Goblino? Yeah, we're doing Goblino only. Goblino! Depends what class I am. A lot of times on Ranger we'll go Crypt or, uh, you know, elsewhere, but I feel like Slayer does well in solos if I can get on top of them. I think the only thing that we really have to fear is a, uh, like a serious landmine. I, mean, I guess we have a lot to fear. A landmining rogue. We probably have to fear traps. And I, I would say that outright, I could lose to a barbarian right now. Unless I had height. I think if I get height and I get the Barbarian to leg shot me two or three times, we can win. But, I mean, Barbarians are just so juiced right now with their 200 HP pools unbuffed. It's nuts. The stat split ought to fix that quite a bit. I'm um, here, so uh, I've, I, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments and here in Twitch chat what you guys think. But um, they've talked about removing lobbies and the ability to inspect an HR. I don't know, like, I really like that idea, but I also kind of like knowing what I'm coming up against, so it's hard. Madness. Madness like and here, stupidity. Here, there's two barbarians with capes. Makes me a little bit afraid. This run goes hard. This run is going places, man. We're just going to be a little bit careful. We're doing good as well, mixing PvE and PvP. Our last couple runs, we've been very PvP light when I was running PDR, because it's just hard to catch people. And I, I wasn't running sprints either. I was trying out a victory strike and adrenaline rush, which is an interesting play. It doesn't really go hand in hand, but like it's good for defensive plays, but not for offensive plays. Oh, forgot about luck potion. T-Stab, thank you for the primal. On the way to a hype train as well. Bigly, 100 likes. Oh, excuse me, 100 kex. That's a lot of kex. Thank you for the uh, Amazon primal as well. Welcome one, welcome all. Any primers in the chat? luck did we get 50 luck pretty good It's not bad. I wonder if the prices of things will go up or down since HR is free. Part of me thinks that that would be just more items in the economy. But another part of me thinks it's just more players with items dying. So it, it might not affect it at all. Um, I guess we have to go this way. 
This is a weird circle for me. Good evening, final. Welcome, brother. Everybody else in chat as well. Hello, hello. <laughs> I will say that of all the classes I play, Slayer feels the best. Something about the attack speed and like just the two and a half feet of steel. I feel like a goddamn gladiator. Um, you know what? I should I should have shut this door actually. We should go this way. It's not a great circle. That's dangerous. If there was a rogue there, I wouldn't have been able to shut the door. I would have had two goblins on me. Always try to make sure there's no monsters following you into the next room. I know it's tough. I did so much fucking damage with that. Holy shit. Wow, that was a lot of damage on Blow Corruption. Damn, we, we almost fucked around and found out with that Warlock. Is this guy juicing? Earned like 80 HP off of me. What? That was a great staff. He's naked. What the fuck? Bok is back. Yeah, confirmed blow of corruption is in. He's naked. Goblin of corruption. I pray one day that this the meta of swinging at empty spaces goes away and they put a stealth sound. I don't have to fear walking around the dungeon. I can't make that jump for some reason. It's like there's a little step down that gets in the way.
Nice. Honestly, I was a little bit afraid to go through this room. Pretty cleared though. Nice little free cape. I will take it. I like those little boxes, man. They got uh, sometimes blue necklaces and rings. Blue capes. Those things go hard. Three strength? God damn. Wait, three strength. Uh, almost. Almost better than ours, actually. Really, really good round. Level 12 as well. Dang, this is big. We haven't made it to level 20 in absolute ages, so I'm, I'm hoping on a permadeath. Obviously, our cleric got cut short by a hacker. Confirmed ban. Also, the other... Uh, I didn't have it in the video, but the other barbarian that we spectated after that was hacking was also banned. So, both of those little bastards didn't make it. Get him out! Negative 35 USD, baby! I almost want to splurge, but I might need more money to gamble. Kind of a miss, but honestly, at least it's purple. Projectile reduction. Kind of trash. But I, I like that it was in there, and I like that we hit purple. It's pretty rare. Here's a padded. I think we... Oh, wait, a flange. Holy shit. One power, two damage. Oh, my God. Sign me up. Sign me up. Okay. God, this is going great. How much more candy do we have? Got 16 candies. I want to buy this as well. We would need 12 in the next couple rounds. Get that. I mean, anything is going to land better than what we have. But any stats at all is going to be better than what we have. All of that missed. I mean, I could roll for this, but yeah, I think next we go padded. And then hopefully eventually leather cap. Hundred and forty money. We got bolts, we got throwing axes, we have plenty of heals. Am I missing anything, coach? Oh, you know what? I gotta get uh, some bags. Grab some more bags, and I'm ready to go again. Well, level, I'm level 12 at the moment. Why two weapons instead of a lantern? It's because lanterns are for pussies. All right, if you don't have two, if you don't have a weapon in each hand, are you really a slayer? I don't think so. I, I'm praising that the devs change it, alright? The lantern is not a weapon. Fuck that. It is a light source. You shouldn't get plus five weapon damage on your main hand because you're carrying a goddamn lantern in your offhand. <laughs> also, bring back the slow on lanterns, alright? Movement speed penalty for running around with a lantern out. There's no way you could run just as fast holding a little piece of fire in a glass box. Compared to not having that. Alright, if I get negative 10 on a short sword, they should get at least negative 5. The Slay Slayer are more like scared of the dark, am I right? <laughs> yes, no lanterns allowed. Alright guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna take just the shortest little break here. We're at the hour mark. Give me just a minute to come back. Spotify's the elite platform. I mean I have I have Spotify Premium, I have YouTube Premium, and I have Twitch Turbo. So I don't get ads anywhere 
And those are my three things. I don't really have a lot of uh, a lot of oh streaming platforms, but I will say that last night I subscribed to Apple TV. Somebody suggested Monarch Legacy of Monsters in my stream yesterday. It's so good. I think it's like a couple episodes in. Uh, it's really fun. I think it's just a really cool. Oh, the flange. You can feel the flange. We're already two shotting goblinos. Goblinos! Um, anyway, that, I think that shows. It does such a good job of like showcasing some little monsters and like a bit of drama. And. Oh, wait, what was that? A little, a little naked rogue just ran by me. He might be going to the troll. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into his spawn box now. Because I know there's no one in this box, and I know it's safe, and I'm just going to farm here. So I'll just close this, and we will consume this whole spawn box. Now it's getting a little bit dangerous, but it's okay. God, we can do so much now. We can kill the archers between, uh, between strikes. We can kill the bolo throwers between throws. <laughs> Chat said they listen to only gay parody rapping and that's why they like Spotify. You know what? To each their own. And I gotta say, Spotify is a place, just like YouTube and Twitch, for creators of all kinds to come out and showcase their work. Hell, I wouldn't be a published rapper if it wasn't for YouTube. Now I can add that to my title card. You know I'm flexing when I go out to dinner chat. I'm a content creator, world rank two ranger, published rapper. I've done some things. Some stuff and some things. What is fun actually though, I'm just playing around, but what is fun is that uh, I'm about to get an achievement on Twitch. I can't remember the name of it, but it definitely reminds me of PlayStation and Xbox achievements. All right, that's actually a really boosted Bardiche, but I can't afford the slots that it takes. I hope they bring that down. I want them to make that the same slots as the spear. Like it doesn't make sense thematically, but who's got who has ten slots for a Bardiche? Anyway, the achievement that I'm about to get is like twenty five million minutes watched. That's kind of a lot of minutes. I'd have to do some quick math, figure out how many hours that is. But it's probably a lot. It reminds me, like, the first time game companies and gaming started using minutes to equate to anything, I really loved, because growing up, uh, you could do slash played on EverQuest, and it would tell you how long your character had been alive, basically. Or how long you'd been playing it, rather. Anyway, I remember very, uh, for the launch of World of Warcraft, they said that uh, in, like, the first month of the launch of WoW, a huge... Fucking huge. Blow of corruption against the wood. I should be dead as hell. That guy was sneaky. Sneaky little warlock. Whoo, I should be super dead. Zaya, a Zvihander in an enclosed space. I don't even know. Did I even use buffs there, chat, or did I just go for it? He was close, and I was afraid. I guess... I wonder what else he had. Is that a Falcon? Yeah, yeah, oh, he had a Falcon. I'm just... I'm surprised he didn't use the Falcon. Yeah. 
Yeah, is Vyander in the caves? Super bold choice. Two strength, four max health. I mean, he's kind of juiced. He's definitely mid-range juice. Those throwables. He should have just lit me on fire and walked backward. To be fair, though, I probably wouldn't have thrown anything either there. I would have just went for it since I was locked in. He still almost one-tapped me, even without Bach. Sometimes I attack so fast, I can't even let go of my buttons in time. My elevator! Some little rat already stripped him. I know he still has his cape. It looked like his cape was off. the damage. So much damage. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, I'd like to keep going a little bit more in PvE. I feel like that was probably the most dangerous enemy on the map right there. Ah, oh, yeah, we could have definitely got this guy if we had the health. Oh, well. Some may live so that others can die. Level 13, very nice.
Hmm, swing and a miss on the gamble. Now I could wait a couple of minutes for the refresh. It's only four away, but I'm just going to drop again. We're in a good spot and I'm feeling good about it. That was a really nice swap to the leather cap too. Three max health and uh, some PDB on it. Very nice leather cap that he had. Uh, chat asks if there anybody has the crafting guide image. Just exclamation mark crafting. I got gotcha. you. Again is spelled wrong. Yeah, but it's got the little symbols above the pancake. Again. It's like uh, another language. That's not English. That's uh, that's Slavic. Slavic again. This little spawn rushing skeleton over here. He's doing me a favor and gathering all the monsters up. Never mind. Too many monsters, feels dangerous. Is someone trolling? Okay. Alright, so I feel like this guy ran through here and went straight to troll. And the other guy that spawned in the same module as me at the top side ran straight to war camp. The ranger in me can't help but look at good ranger gear twice.
The sound carries. No kill the guy trolling? Not right now, I'm gonna let him finish. We're about halfway through the map, so yeah, he's done. So now now we can push. Ah uh, shit timing. Damn, we hit the wall twice. I almost got outplayed by a gray short sword. Wow, that Marauder is freaking juiced, man. Honestly, so is the Shadow Hood. I was looking the wrong way. That guy was looking the wrong direction. It's hard. It's hard to balance. I want treasure for money. But some of this stuff is so good, I really can't pass it up.
That Templar was good. Yeah, that Templar was really good. I wanted to take it as well, but I'm starting to get a feared. As my health gets lower in the swarm. Level 14. Smaller come up that time, but it is getting harder and harder to level. Not even halfway through this one. Big come up gear wise. A lot of crazy gear. I don't know what that. I, I feel like that guy must have been fighting somebody else and then dropped down because he was looking up the whole time. He looked up all the way until he died. I mean, we have at least probably 2k in gear already stored now. This is really good. Rogues are so, I mean, power, health, PDB. That's probably 500 gold. Could be more, honestly. This is probably 200. This is probably 250. candy do we have now we have 24 candy and ours get 39 okay ours is good weapons good i could re-roll a riveted though do we want to re-roll the riveted or do we want to save the candy chat i'll let you guys choose do we save for something else most of our gear is pretty much set now until 20 in my opinion we could re-roll padded and we could re-roll riveted I'll let chat choose to choose your own adventure. He had his headphones on upside down. High roller ain't the place for a wank. Riveted. Reroll. Roll, save. I do need a short sword. That's true. Let's go take a look at Weaponsmith. I do need a short sword. 100%. But I mean, that's 20 minutes away. We could have the candy by then. Plus two additional riveted is already good enough. Yeah, well... Plus two is good, but I mean, grabbing the the extra strength already makes up for the damage, in my opinion, because it also gives us health. I'm going to go for it. I rolled like shit. I wish we didn't go for it. That's horrible. I have many regrets. I really thought it was going to be hard to, to roll that bad. That's all three. Zero for three. All the rugrats. All right. Well, nonetheless, we go. Again. That is just horrible. Armor qual wasn't better. It was one armor. <laughs> Plus one armor. Now, where, where are my theory crafters? Is the one strength better than the two additional physical, though? We'd have three strength. We'd have two will, which would be a little bit of magic resist. I don't know, I don't know how useful that is, but... We spin again. I do need a short sword. Stop trying to rationalize your bad roll. No, I mean, it, it's bad all the way through. Yeah, these are 13. The other one was only 14. It's just plus one armor. I must have load roll. Must have rolled low, rather, or my green rolled high. Either way. I mean, it's less about will and more about is the one strength better than the one additional physical. Yo, can they slow these spider spawners down? You gotta be juiced to get in there. Gotta activate my skills just to outplay the spiders. Chat says build will. 
Get explosive bottles, become wizard. <laughs> become wizard with an actual health pool. Damn, two purple rings. Will armor pen move speed. Nice. Agi, PDR, physical damage move speed. Wow. That was without a luck potion. I forgot we even had luck pot. 80 as well, max for luck. Nice. You don't even need it. like this box like I showed in my economy guide video goblin maze is amazing no one ever comes down here it's got centipede a bunch of chests has like 200 ore mm -hmm, yeah if I get a purple short sword that is game This was a well-designed room. Like it's a shit room because there's so many monsters and so many spiders, and it's it's horrible. And you get hit, you hit the ceiling, you get stuck on everything. But I kind of feel like, in that sense, it's well-designed. It's a really dangerous module. I was looking at chat. Damn, that size boosted. That's a fat we. Nice heater shield as well. MDRPR health. Nine candy. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna loot that.
I swing so fast already? I'm gonna open this and kill this other goblin. Uh, maybe wrap around to the other side, and then we're gonna... I wanna drop in here to get that gold chest if it's there. It's Okay, there's also a portal down there. I'm gonna go for it. I wish I had an excuse, but I don't. <laughs> that was so greedy, and I, I definitely could have died by anybody shooting anything at me. Swinging six times and hitting twice. Yeah, you know what? It's all right. We can screw up in PvE. We just can't screw up in PvP. Yeah, lag. Yeah, yeah, it was lag. It was lag. Level 15, and we are on the rise. That is our final perk as well. I think I'm going to take Adrenaline Rush. Part of me wants to go uh, Defense Mastery. Let me just see what it'll give us. So we're at 18% PDR. It's only 1%. I'm going to take Adrenaline Spike. It might give us the one extra swing we need to win the fight. Big shield. Nice leather cap. The juice is by. Feeling good. Uh, that is a lot of candy as well. We did... Um, we'll probably make enough before refresh. Maybe. Excellent ring of resolve. We can go with the big boy potion now. And plenty of healing, plenty of everything. I think we're ready to go. Am I missing anything, coach? Put me in. Put me in. Are you trading at 20? Yeah, I would. I will trade at 20. Mm -hmm. I'd buy that Zvi. <laughs> I kind of want to just take it in. Honestly, the Zvi with uh, Adrenaline Rush is a lot of fun. It's kind of ridiculous how fast it swings. You really catch people off with it. When is refresh? It's about 7 minutes from now. US East Scoblino! Yeah, hoping for a short sword, same. Honestly, I have gray, so whatever whatever that short sword would have would be perfect. Anything. Just just being blue or purple is enough from Weaponsmith or uh, maybe a Gamba. I love that we almost got deleted by a rogue with a gray short sword. Hitting the wall twice, big bad. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Welcome, Rec. Rec, first time chatter, says just finished the Perma Cleric video. Loved it. Gotta watch the Perma Slayer fighter now. Yes, welcome, fam. This would be our fastest run ever, but now that HR is free, it sort of changes up the entirety of the game. You can zero to hero pretty quick. I mean, the other one we had, uh, you know, we almost had Glee at level one. You kill a juicer, it's on. How do we get this kid? I, I killed a rogue. Uh, unfortunately, the rogue was kind of trying to be friendly, I think. But I don't use VoIP in permadeath, and I treat everyone as hostile, so... I know, he, he walked next to me, and I, I deleted him. With Graze. But it happens. And then the flange we gambled for. So 
So uh, part of it we got ourselves. Uh, we farmed that from the centipede and that as well. For the rogue, but yeah, I mean, he got his cobalt, the loose, the padded. He was very, oh, nice. Two will, two strength. PDR, it's up. I might have to carry those out too. Three weapon damage, two power? Uh, I did buy a big luck potion. We only got 50, so we got the, the least available roll. Wait, what was that? Is that PDB and max health? Oh my god. This shit is great. These are things that I try to buy on my rogue. You ask and you shall receive, true. And it rolled magical healing and memcap, so really bad for us, but overall very good. I will take it. And then I don't go out that way anymore. It's too it's too many monsters. Typically I, I go this way and then I'll just leave the box. I definitely get hit here, yep. Gotta be careful on fighter. That low will means those debuffs are going to take forever to go off. Honestly, we don't have a good circle. I'm just going to leave. I mean, here comes Circle. I'm, I'm geared, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm rushed here. It's a dangerous spawn. Risky play of the day. Okay. There's a rug there, I die as well. Danger.
Got him. <laughs> oh man. Blue army sword, that's not bad. Damn, that goblin fucked me over bad. Else we had way better positioning there. What the hell? He's gonna try to open maybe mystical vault play. Oh snap! That was a good one. I didn't even loot the rogue. Uh, four dead men in one spot. Huge. That's good dark plate. God, we got some great items that run. Plenty of candy as well. Probably hit refresh. Yep, that's refresh. God. <laughs> Teaming with Goblin reported, also the, the Spike Trap went hard right there. Spike Trap does a lot of damage, it might be true damage. 250 gold round as well, besides all the gear.
Mm, I don't know. It's hard for me to even want to gamble for this. About triples our armor, though. This is super good. I mean, it already has almost the same amount of base health. This would have to roll strength and agi. 23. How many do we have? We've got 34. Do we want to gamble for this, chat? Are we feeling that kind of gamba? I'll let you guys choose. What should we gamble for? We have 34 candy. We got, uh, I mean, we have boots. And then we have light foot boots. But ours are super good, right? We have uh, two strength, three armor. But this could have, this has three stats. That could get strength, Angie. It could get additional move speed. It could get true damage. It could get a lot additional. I don't know. Uh, we've also got adventure boots. So I'll let you guys choose. We can buy one thing for now and then probably another if we get a bit more candy. Go for the light footies. At least we have his cracked boots. Pass. Trousers, light footies as well. Don't do it. Just wait. Light foot, light foot, light foot, light foot. Wait for next refresh. Light foots. I don't know. A lot of people want to try light foots. Okay, let's go for the light footies. What's our weakest piece? I mean, honestly, we're 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 juiced. Uh, we don't really have a weak piece right now. Like short sword is probably our weakest, arguably. But uh, we'll go for light footies. Two strength, two move speed. We could take two move speed. Uh, plus, it comes with one extra over three armor. I would think this is better than ours. Yeah, five, ten, five, eleven. So we're basically just swapping out th plus three move speed for three armor. So we're at 18.4 PDR. That's going to put us at 18.1. But our move speed goes up to 101.1. We are we are very fast. <laughs> we are very fast. Yeah, I'd say that one was worth it. That was a good roll. Not bad at all. 268. Part of me wants to gamble for a padded. Uh, not trash. I mean, I could probably save it because we have slots. I might be able to sell it to somebody for 100. Maybe like a wizard or something. Overall, I could, I could probably just sell it, but it'd be nice to recoup some losses from it. Um, Really good choker. Honestly, we've got a lot of really good items. MH, MH. Uh, didn't we have one that rolled max MH? Yeah, max MH right there. Two strength, three MH. Then we got uh, the three power, two MH. Just really, really good items. Although I guess MH on the flange doesn't help you at all. Because you can't cast with it. <clears throat> anyway, I will be right back and we will go again. We are about 70 XP away from level 16. Maybe about an hour away from 20. Somebody in chat said we should have gambled for the hatchet. I actually don't like hatchet. I prefer short sword. The swing speed on it mixed with the armor pen means that we're dealing very, very fast damage. A lot of times people just start backing after the first two hits. They, they just stop attacking completely because they realize their health pool is just gone. You know what? I'm actually going to I'm gonna play for centipedes. Uh, let's go top left. Let's play with circle. Let's get really knowledgeable with this. Top left will be out of circle first. Let's go top left and get maybe Skeletal Champion and Centipede and then come back. Maybe grab that chest on the way out. And then we'll go hit one or the other Centipede or maybe both.
Here I go flange only, because a lot of the time uh, my, my short sword doesn't make the swings. Combat tested. User approved. One shot, man. Ouch. Ow, my head. Uh, I didn't pop adrenaline spike either. I'm trash. My god, Grey Barbarian. Grey Barbarian go rah! Alright, well, I don't think we're gonna get centipede now. I should have just went. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna let that one go. So I can focus on some XP and objectives. I gotta get to 20. I feel like the higher level I get, the worse I play. Does anybody else feel that way? Okay, but we're rewarded, so no worries. Dungeons are a hard place out here. It is tough. Man, he's so close. He's one foot away from the swarm. Damn, I salute you. The effort. Honestly, you had a lot of little bit of loot. Okay. That's already four. I'm five. There can only be two left. Andy? I love HR being free. I hope it stays free forever. It's so good. Wait, one strength, four armor? One strength, four armor? I don't know. Is that better than ours? Three max health? One strength, four armor? I lose one HP. I don't know, these both seem great. Nice gloves are really good too. I'm just gonna drop the crossbow. Oh, snap. Oh, I, f I forgot we had a luck potion. I'm just gonna drink it even though we're halfway through the match. A classic. Typical. Wait, a purple leather cap, two armor? Everything is good. <laughs> Everything is good.
Mm, I think this guy killed Centipede. Yep, definitely. All right, that's pretty much map. I mean, we know five are dead at least. Oh, fill your bolts. Good call out coach, thank you. That's why we got lucky. Call that a little tactical reload. Free low. Good round. Very solid. I wish I'd kept those other gloves, but oh well. Why don't I use ale? Um, I don't know. It's just one more thing to have to track and one more thing on my bar. I understand a lot of people do and it gives you a nice little damage boost with strength and probably temporary HP, but I don't know. It's probably a meta and I'm just not doing it. All right. Three max health, 1.2% PDB. One strength should already give us a little bit of damage. And four armor. Eh, they seem about the same to me. Ten minutes till refresh. Big relaxing. Another huge round.
Absolute trash. Absolute garbage. We have had very bad rolls tonight with Jackie Boy. Jackie Boy. All right. Well, we go again into the abyss. I'm not even halfway through 16, so it's going to be at least, I want to say, four more rounds till 20. Can we make it? Can you show us your perks? Yeah, I can show you my perks. We've got Slayer, Dual Wield, Adrenaline Spike, and Combo Attack activated at the moment. Chat says hit that piss pot. All right, I'll try to remember. All right, we got a juiced rogue in here. A juicy rogue. Got to be careful in my corners. Keep swinging at the nothings. Oh, yeah, adrenaline spike is huge. Uh, that barbarian definitely could have killed me there. He should have just kept swinging. Honestly, he had nothing to lose. Just hold left click, chat. You're level one, you have nothing. Just hold left click. Biggest, bestest advice I could give. I don't know how much my gear is worth right now, but it's quite a bit. I rolled terrible on luck. I got uh, I got a 50. You know what else though? Uh, walking when I went to fight the barbarian, I walked through the spider web, so I slowed my attack down by a, a ton. And I did an adrenaline spike. A lot of times when I feel like I'm gonna beat the target anyway, I don't activate my skills. That's called cockiness. And when you get cocky, you get deaded. Especially on perma. Why do I use adrenaline spike? Because when I get low on health, I get 15% action speed, so I swing my weapons faster. We already swing really fast. It might be exactly what I need. If I hit 40%, we're already swinging. And if we have adrenaline rush locked and loaded, I'd say just about any player in the game is going to die right there. Nice, double purple again. 3MH will 3 PDB buff duration. That is freaking cracked for clerics and warlocks. 3 strength, MDB, move speed, buff duration. Another really good one. I got 2 strength and 1% of move speed. I think we swap ours out. 2 and 1%. 3 and 0.9%. Buff duration, I believe, should make uh, adrenaline rush and sprint last longer as well. Not to make a risky play here, unfortunately. Kind of ran out of time. I cannot believe we didn't take any damage from that.
Big hit. Fuck. Oh my god. Good news is now he has to go war camp. He's still there. Sweet. Hey, wasted stealth. Deleted. Holy shit. Fucking juiced, dude. That is a good kid, fams. What's this? This would have been a good fight for us. Use it? No, I don't want to use it. That's not for fighters. I'd have to take the uh, the other perk. I really like our loadout right now. Damn, what a build. What a build this has been. PDB, agility, strength. Two strength, two additional damage. Regular interaction speed. Two strength, two power, two damage. I think ours is better. Two strength, two true damage, 2% PDB. This is a multi-key set. I don't even know how many keys this is. Ox with two strength, that's ours. Two strength, 1% move speed. So he had two strength, two MH. Two strength, two MH. Two strength, PDR. So yeah, I have one Agi, two additional physical. I kind of want to swap out for one of these two strength rings. That's uh, five armors, 0.5% PDR. Kind of want to go buff duration and PDR. Boost this up to 145 HP, almost capping out at 150. Your loot vacuum. Oh, insane. I forgot we got that. Three will. 
3.3% PDB, 3MH, and buff duration, all on rolled stats for the most part, especially for Cleric. 2 Agi, 2 Strength, Memcap. This was a little bit worse than ours, but still good. I'm about to be out of space. 2 Strength, wait. 2 Strength, 2.8%. Madness, Madness and stupidity. Too true. Damn, that is a very top tier damage dealing necklace. I would lose a lot of move speed, but we'd gain a ton of health and damage. I guess we only get two health from that. And two true physical. What do we think? Chad, help me. Purple Oxy. Basically just three strength, 1% move speed. Bit of buff. Or 2 Strength, 2 True Physical, and 3% Max Health. Chat says stay fast. Everyone's going back and forth. What do we got, boys? Blue. Blue for true damage. Blue is busy. Yeah, two true damage is pretty nuts. Collapsing them. Perp, uh, 300 best for closing the distance on the movement speed. I mean, it's only 0.9, which is a lot, but once we do close, two true physical is going to go pretty hard. Also, it's going to make our uh, our crossbow hit a lot harder as well. Chat says you're going to do what you want. No, I was in the chat. Oh, I forgot we got the uh, the Shadow Mask as well. 2 Agi, 2 Health, 2 Power. That's, that's like, honestly, a thousand gold at this point in the wipe. It's a lot. Uh, still level 16. A little bit closer, but a lot of PvP that round. A lot of back and forth fights. We did hit Refresh, though. Right, looking for a short sword. Check Jackie boy. No short sword here. Not really anything I want to roll for. We could roll for a cap. All it really needs is one strength to kind of make up for this. 22 candy. We have no candy. All right. Let's we'll see if we can get 22 in the next little while. I don't think there's even a reason to check anything else anymore. Everything's juiced up. All right, I'm going to be right back, guys. I'm just going to go to the bathroom and run a little bit more tea. What an incredible start. And first two hours of the run this is. We are on the way up. We are incredibly geared. And we've got a lot in our stashes. Well, I'd be curious to see at the end if I sell everything that we get, how much money we could make in three hours. Find out, hopefully, in the next 40 minutes or so. I'll be right back. Let me put some music on for you. Okay, diving back in after a small tea break just to set ourselves up. This is permadeath for everyone just tuning in to us. We've got uh, some really, really insane items, especially for rogues. Picked up the Demon's Glee, weapon damage power, fizzy power buff. Some padded, I, just uh, honestly incredible items. I have uh, quite a few purple jewelry pieces as well that are basically this. We've got the Badger Pendant, 3 will, 3 MH. The Oxy with 3 strength, 1% move speed. Anyway, here, do we have everything we need? No. Oof, I almost dropped. Yeah, those bandages, we've been going through six bandages around. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up a uh, potion of luck as well. Low in cash reserves of gold and high in gear value. All right, now we are going to go again. I'll be right back. We will drop into Brazil or EU. We're going worldwide. <laughs> the timing is for the flex. No, that was an accident. <laughs> now sold and ready to drop. Chat asks if they'll ever add a flail weapon. And somebody responded it would be nice for the paladin. Agreed. Agreed, I think that would be a great weapon. Also, I think a whip would be pretty insane. Very low damage, but high range. Get some little agility rats. Little movement speed gods running around with a whip out. 
Hitting him with a high, yeah. Whip for the heretic. Yeah, maybe whip for the artificer. Chat says, I'm fixing my Q so I will always snipe into yours so I can finally kill you. It doesn't matter where you run to. Well, good luck. I might be in Tokyo. I could be in Sydney. Maybe I took a little jaunt across the great ocean to Singapore. You'll never know. All right, that's us. We got actually a fresh lobby, so I feel good about it. I'm trying to wait like a minute here or there, depending, before we queue in. Uh, we rolled 50 luck again as well on the small pot, so I feel like almost all our small pots have been 50, and all our big pots have been 50. It's a, it's a big trick by the alchemist to make you spend. Chat says Francisca axes are the best for destroying spider pots. I don't think I've ever thrown a Francisca at a spider pot. That actually sounds like a really good idea. I think right now our DPS is high enough where I can just walk into it. But for the future, that is a great idea. Thank you, guys. Always appreciate it. I'm still out here learning. 2,500 hours later in a dream. Phoenix choker, 3 true, 3 move speed, 3 power, 7 armor. Really great choker. Someone's above, I think.
Damn, honestly, how did he how did he parry that? I hit him in the foot. Was it on my upswing? Can you hit them and the weapon on the same swing pattern? That was a lot of damage. I'm amazed that he parried that. And there's... I'm gonna be careful, man. That's Mage Barbarian and the other one was Fighter Cleric. I hit him. That's huge. That is huge. He's lit. Let him know. Dangerous fight. Killed two, killed three. One left is four and five. Could still be quite a few left. That was a blue long sword as well.
I was under? Oh man, that would have been that could have been really bad. That could have been really, really bad. Greed is good. That is level 17 as well. Just at the start of it though. It's gonna be tough coming up here at the end. Alright, well, our stash is full. That is I think I don't know what to do here. I guess we have to buy some gold coin bags, make a little bit more room. I'm going to have to sell some of our, our less good one-slot items as well. Probably sell the campfires. Okay, we got bolts, we have everything we need. We got a refresh coming in two minutes, so we could wait for that or we could just drop. Sash is looking fine. We'll have to make space at some point unless we kill like a, a really juicer again and then I don't think we're gonna have any space. We'll have to just start selling all our one slots. Else I'm just gonna give uh, probably most of the stuff away to chat when we're done. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna wait for refresh. It's a minute away, but that is a minute wasted. Dropping back into the dungeon chat says they can hold some of it for us now thanks guys but uh, we're gonna sustain and do no trade till then this has got to become a youtube video i mean if we make it definitely we've had some insane runs to go to 14 or 15 that i haven't put up i think our warlock made it to 17 we did an absolute ton of solo bossing and then i died to the streamer sarah Moore, who was also a warlock a good fight though but i didn't put that one up but i might only because i solo bossed a ton and also i feel like it's really hard to play warlock and crips what level am i i'm 17 right now i'm impressed with the, the slayer lately the fact that our other character made it to 11 and then the other one killed the demon glee rogue at level one i feel like adrenaline rush is underused but it's it's definitely one of the best abilities in this game uh, we rolled insane on luck. Actually, I uh, landed 150, so we finally got a max roll on the big luck potion. So here I will I will try to focus absolutely on killing centipede and opening chests. I thought he was going to slither away with poison on the ground. And I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that adrenaline spike went on cooldown like that. I see. Come, brother peed. Two arms.
Okay. PDB, MDB, max health. <laughs> cooking. Actually cooking. It's like if you put out too much damage, he both slithers and attacks in front of him at the same time. MDB, PDB, true. Oops.
That was actual footage of a Viking versus a knight. Are you the Viking? I don't know, honestly. He had a giant round shield. I kind of felt like he was the Viking, but I don't know. He had armor. It's a, a bit of both. Good run. I should probably focus a little less on PvP and a little more on PvE. Three weapon damage on a cross. He brings up to 46. It's actually huge. I don't have space for it in my stash, though. Um, that way we can level up and capitalize on our luck potion. I was going to go for several centipedes, but just got lost in the sauce. Chat says dual world looks really cool. It's definitely different. You don't see that many people doing it. Okay, we almost got to level off that, though. Not bad. Let's buy a couple more treasure bags. Uh, plus, I mean, we got all his treasures, so at least we're still gaining plenty of loot from a kill. Again, looks pretty good to me. We got our treasure, we got some Francesco's, plenty of healing, and some extra surges. And we drop again. Didn't know you could swap the animations for dual wield weapons. Mm -hmm. Does the mace armor pen apply to the short sword hits? Yep, it does. The two weapons, when you're holding them both out, share each other's properties. Chat asks if it wouldn't be better to use Arming Sword and Cast and Yon. I actually hate any dual combination with Cast and Yon. Unfortunately, when you're holding left and right click, typically it swaps animations almost back and forth, ending in the result of uh, both 
combos, seeing their uh, sort of their final little amount. But with the Castagnon, it does all three of the Castagnon really before going to the other weapon. And I also, I don't really feel like Castagnon does that much damage on the fighter. You mostly like it on the rogue because it's applying all the poisons and typically punching through the armor right away. But first of all, Castagnon and Arming Sword, it has no armor pen. So a lot of these fights where I've been fighting plate people, I'd have a significantly more fear. Also, I don't, for whatever reason, I feel like my Arming Sword almost always hits the ground. Fax says he likes being fast. Somebody else said short sword plus arming sword for them. Yeah, I think it's going to come down a lot to personal preference, but for me, the armor pen is what does it. The armor pen, and then I don't have to take weapon master for flange compared to Morningstar. But in general, I would rather use flange anyway if I had a choice. Chat asks if small potion of luck is good value. I mean, it depends what you're doing, but yeah, if you have good clear speed and good map knowledge, then absolutely. The thing is, if it makes... The thing is for me, if it turns a blue necklace into a purple necklace from Centipede, it's it's way, way, way well worth it. It could be hundreds if not thousands of gold of a differential. Spike traps win again. That's also why I don't like using a shield. Sometimes it really works, but I feel like it's way rarer for me to actually get a block that changes the outcome of the fight compared to if they block and miss. Gotta be careful this uh, lobby, there's a pretty juiced wizard.
Deleted. Good battle, brother wizard. Good battle. We step into it. For I am afraid of no man and nothing. I walk into the arena with my head held high, a weapon in each hand. The smell of blood and dirt fresh in my nostrils. The roar of the crowd awaits. That is level 18. Two away. Two away. An empty inventory and a dream. That was a battle. My god, that was a battle. That wizard said... If I didn't have the healing that we had, that's over. That is over. I had enough healing to send it non-stop over and over again. We go again and again until lambs become lizards. All right, well, we're finally going to have to spend it. That was such an intense round. It's going to cost us a lot to come back from it. And we don't have any collector's items to sell. Yeah. Yes, indeed. 100 gold remaining. I have no more surgical kits. We have to play significantly safer now. 
Can't buy them either. They do not sell them anywhere. And so now we must step into the arena slightly less prepared than once we had. I think here we uh, we take a campy. I don't really like using campies, but we got to. There he actually gave us the space and time to campy, but only because of the pressure we put against him. On the first take, I hit him with the crossbow, so he peeled away. On the second take, I hit him with a throwing axe, so he peeled away. He doesn't have much of a health pool, so any one of those items is going to make him rethink whether or not he wants to follow us into the swarm. Especially when we have 150 health, I can play swarm for quite a while. Again, this is why we like also having physical healing. Allows you to run away from top tier opponents. I mean, if he had enough heals and we missed anything there, he just plays that corner and I play my corner. And eventually, to be honest, he catches us. My sprint's on cooldown. He follows through with haste. He can take that down. That was a really good fight. And with that, we go again. Buy on trade. We cannot use trade. No VoIP, no trade, only Titans. Battling until one or both is dead. Somebody in chat said, what's crazy is that the wizard still gets two tapped if you're in greys. Not true. Not true. I fought a wizard yesterday on my Barbarian and I was freaking juiced. And I hit him three times with the horseman's axe and once with a throwing knife with Achilles and he killed me. He was rocking all strength gear and had Ignite Randell build. And he hit me with an Instacast Fireball on the way in. I hit him with an Achilles Francisco on the way in. We collided. I swung three times. He swung five times. I died and he lived. He had actual one HP. But nonetheless, you can build strength. I've seen wizards with 120 HP. It's just, it's tough and it's really expensive. But it is fundamentally possible. For now, once the stats change, I think, uh, who knows, maybe we'll see more wizards with more HP because they'll be able to stack vigor instead of strength. They'll go vigor and will, or will knowledge vigor. Curious to see what will happen with the wipe. Should be interesting. Chat asks, doesn't physical healing only work for bards? No, it works for the health that you restore at a campfire and a bandage for every class in the game. Somebody in chat said Ken Nobby was running his wizard tank set last night. Yep, it's end of wipe. So you're seeing a lot of very, very aggressive gear sets. Really expensive. I mean, I built mine mostly from the corpse of another player, but this is an expensive gear set. Like our jewelry alone. Probably like 2k. gonna be problematic I'm not to get him to kill it <laughs> I feel like we've seen a lot of fighters with Hound Skulls just getting stomped by monsters tonight this run. It's like our third Hound Skull fighter that just got deleted by a single Goblino.
I thought he was just going to return to his post. Job done. I think it's so funny to see somebody die to PvE only because I know the same thing used to happen to me and I, I finally conquered that and it feels good to have made progress. It's like, I, I used to do that too, but now it's it's like, um, it's like hazing almost. I can't see anything. I'm just gonna swing. I'm just blind. <laughs> just left click and praise. Hundred and fifty luck we max rolled. I gotta start looting. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'll let that go a little bit too early. <laughs> Red Lizard Gang sends their regards.
Very nice. Uh, two purple invis pots. That is two minutes of invisibility. Where are my rogues at? <laughs> Poose. Hey, there it is. Nice, Sergi. Uh, so the two died at the beginning, and then this one died. So that's, uh, there could be up to three players left, as far as I know. I'm gonna leave. I don't want to risk it. Be a long fight with a warlock over a portal. He could phantomize into my portal and then I could be stuck. Could be above or below here. Nah. Also, there might have been one more. I think that was a wise choice. Typically, I would go till the end, but let's, uh, let's play a little bit smarter here. At the end of the permadeath run, that was just over half a level. That means we're about three games away. Come on, chat. We can do this. It has been months since I made it to 20. Whether it's hackers or other streamers that we're dying to. We got killed by the other streamer the other day that had Demon's Glee. I can make it. Crazy how much candy we got early game. That feels like it's been a while since we bought anything with candy. What's this? Okay. All right, we got bolts, we got frannies, we got everything we need. We hit refresh, but I don't really know what else is left to gamble for. Just been enjoying the potions of luck. And running it down. I'll be right back, and we will dive in again. Whew. Bodies have been put into shallow graves all night tonight. Chat says do a solo permadeath wizard. I have tried many times. I feel confident. That wizard is the hardest permadeath character in this game. I've said it a ton of times. I've made many attempts. I don't think a single one of my wizards has ever made it past level 10. Someone is bound to sprint or rage towards you. Somebody is bound to hit you with a headshot with something. Triple tapped by a ranger. Rogued. You know, PVE'd. <laughs> there are a lot of ways to die as a wizard. Chad asked, does permadeath continue when I get to 20? Typically, no. Nah, at that point, I've had my fill. That makes for a good video. And then we uh, either sell our stash or give it away to chat. Usually give away. Three-man squatted permadeath. That would be amazing. Yeah, we've talked about that before. Soul-linked permadeath. You'd have to have really good teammates that have the same mindset, though. You guys have seen, I, I run away from a lot of fights, even if I'm up. Like the fight earlier with the rogue, I pulled off at like 60%. I'd already hit him two or three times. I knew he was one, but 
I like to get back to full reset and try again. Run it down. I need people who are confident in their 1v1 skills and their ability to reset fights. That's the main part about prim death for me. We don't want to take every fight and we need to be able, we need to be ready to leave immediately. Also a huge part of permadeath for me on several other runs is running away and then pulling my weapons out and quick turning and fighting them once they put their weapons away. It's a lot harder to do that with trios. Like you have to be basically, I don't know, you have to be like mind linked. Like all those future shows that we watch like Peripheral where you're, you're linked with your military squad and everyone's on the same wavelength. Because you, you need to react like very close to the same time frame to get things done like that. So I'd, I'd like to do it. I think it'd be a fun try, but... We've tried once or twice. We, I don't think we've ever gotten more than like one round in. I also like to stay till the end of the match, and a lot of other people like to get out early. Remember on one, we were with uh, M Boss, and he said we should take blues. I said we should fight. We died. I mean, yeah, we should have taken blues there, but at the same time, like we just go again. Oh, I forgot to drink my luck potion. Dang. We go. Again. You're gonna have some pretty high fortitude to do permadeath. A lot of people would just give up pretty quick. Triple intense focus chain lightning. Yes, yeah, three wizards. That's that sounds like a, I'm sure nobody would die on the way up to level twenty. I don't need more lockpicks. Dang, I wasted too many. We gotta go and kill champion. A lot of times champion drops two lockpicks. meager loot that time what's my luck at oh we got min luck everything in here is looted ah uh, door up okay
<laughs> I feel like we're in the flow state right now. I'm pretty relaxed. Normally I've got a lot of, uh, like a lot of, um, I don't know, not dopamine, but kind of like, like fear almost, like a little bit of, uh, like adrenaline throughout the whole run. I feel really relaxed right now. I think it's because we're geared. Damn. Damn. I kinda hit him with the high ya. Yeah. I like that he wasn't going to pull Shaman, and then when he realized he was one shot, he tried to pull Shaman. Something I would do as well, and I can't even loot him. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage. Owie. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that one. Whew. Level 19. We are on the way, fams. Praise for me. Flow state continues, getting stronger and better at the end. Nice padded again. Three strength PR. We got PDB though on ours and Agi. Mm, stash, absolutely full. We can, we can eat no more. 
All right, let's see. I gotta get rid of some of these greens. Green. Some of them are really good though. Interaction speed. That'd be fun for mining. It's hard. I don't want to sell these. Um, let's see what else. Honestly, good thing he didn't shoot me when he was looting. I don't know, he hit me once and it didn't do that much. He must have hit me in the leg. I just assumed it was sort of like a low stat archer. If I was sitting there looting and he double headshots me with a longbow, that's probably game. I think I could have been too tapped by that blue longbow. Move speed, MR, regular interaction speed. Another cool little mining necklace. It's fun now that I've started mining all the time because now I, when I see stats like Riss and an Agi, it makes me excited. I'm like, oh, about to be rich. 2MDB. A lot of little guys getting sold off. TDR, MDB, resourcefulness. Eh. Sell it down, River. Okay, almost. Three physical healing? I might bring that as a swap, actually. That foxy is really good. Three physical healing? Imagine the bandages. Yeah, we're gonna bring a swap. I haven't brought a swap yet this game. Okay. Um got these. I'm just gonna sell this cap. So we have our swap, we need some potions. In dry mouth, I feel like we're gonna make it. Okay, um, let's see. How much money do we have? 350. We're gonna buy a big potion of luck for this. We have 21 candy, not enough for the padded, else I'd probably buy padded here. Ooh, we have a shorty. How long on refresh? Eight minutes? I don't think we're gonna make it, but the shorty would have been great. Someone earlier said save the candy for the shorty. You would have been right. Yes, sirree. All right, chat. We go again. Does killing players give XP? No, it does not. Did you check level? Mm-hmm. I was at about uh, 100 out of 500. So it probably won't be this game, but it could definitely be the next one. This guy's just pointing at me over and over with his torch out. <laughs> A little skeletal thief just standing next to me. Blue torch draw. He just pointed at me the whole match. The entire lobby. How do I like base gear norms? I don't. I don't. I like the idea of them, but uh, I don't really find them that enjoyable because there's no reason to loot anymore. But I find really enjoyable the fact that new players have a place to play and we finally have an equalized area. I think arenas, which they talked about before, I think arenas would be good for the game. Especially if they're equalized and you have like tournament brackets and maybe like some sort of prize. You could definitely do weekly tournaments. Hold on. Someone's above me and I have shit spawn.
I want him to kill Troll. That's free low for me, and it's also a distraction for any other player that comes in the module. Okay, here's PDR Fighter. This is the most dangerous opponent so far. Big miss. Big hit. We push on this. Big hit. Oh shit. Oof. You're low gear there, you're dead. Stuck right there. I was stuck on a little ledge. Control. Yeah, I'm playing too aggressive. About to die chasing naked. Oh my god. Fuck, I'm see the triple shot on the nightmare goblin. No, why didn't he get knocked off by the traps? 
Oh my god, I chased it naked for no reason and I suffered for it. After all of that, that is the end. This guy, this little guy right here gets all the loot. Why did I chase a naked skeletal rogue with a million monsters chasing? Greed is actually not good, chat. I flew way too close to the sun. Yeah, the, the clapping. The clapping that deserves. I can't believe he made it through those traps right there. That little goblin got feet. Shot him with Crossy. Drank a potion. I tried. I don't know. I could have dropped, but down there we have Centipede. I think that's all bad. For one shot. I don't know. He was in there. I didn't really know where else to go. That is the end of the line. Halfway to 20 and we couldn't do it. Feels bad, man. Way too aggressive. I even said I'm too aggressive. I need to stop. Monsters all over me. It was dark. I couldn't see. Whatever excuse you need, I've got it. But you know what time it is? It is time to give this stuff away. All right. Who wants a little bit of loot? We got the Demon's Glee and all of the goods. Damn, that was a good run. <laughs> that was an insane run. We almost made it. I just had to play a little bit more careful. I, I have no idea, man, what took hold of me. Little naked rogue, Skellington. Made me want a W key. Come back, Skellington. You must die. Oof, the PvE got us like... All right, fams, all my little legends, thank you all for tuning in and watching this permadeath. It has been a pleasure. It has been crazy. That one should have made it. Not going to lie, that one should have made it. I'm going to enable Claw Machine Gaming, all right? 20K per person. I'll cut it off at like 10. Go. Open your That's all right, it happens. You can always lose a fight at any time. You get cocky, you get deaded, baby. There you are, brother. Enjoy the glee. Next up, we've got Mo. Purple Ring of Courage. Take it, brother. Go forth and slay. Purple Torque. Um, there you are. Oh, wait. One more. The claw machine reaches, and sometimes you get exactly what you're going for. You know how it is. Little RNG. Crimson, what's your... There you are, brother. Appreciate the lurking, the love, the likes, the comments. All the stuff to get you guys points in chat. There you go, fam. There you got it. That was a great permadeath run. We definitely should have made that. It was fun nonetheless, though, and we went the distance, and we put a lot of people into the ground. That is the end of the fighter. He is permanently dead. On our third try, no less, we climbed. We did the thing. That's definitely going on YouTube. <laughs> love, love dying to monsters. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you live on twitch.tv slash sobadstrange. Please comment, like, and love if you enjoyed any part of this video, and I'll see you for the next one.